It's Sunday setup time. Hello, my friends. Welcome if you're new, and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So, we just got back from Costco and it's like Saturday, late Saturday afternoon. The girls aren't my parents, thankfully. They don't have school tomorrow because it's MLK weekend. Happy birthday, MLK. Yeah, so today what I'm gonna focus on is meal planning, prepping this food that I just bought from Costco because I'm trying to do better with just, um, instead of just throwing it in the freezer, like cutting the steaks up and putting them in the right bags and all of that. So I'm gonna do that with the salmon that we bought and with the steaks that we bought. I'm gonna be cooking today. I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prepping as well um, for my lunches this week and for the, the dinners that we're gonna have this week. Let me show you my meal plan for the week. I'm just going back to basics with the meal planning. Um, you know, traditionally I used to like to try to do a whole month's worth, but now I'm just gonna work with this, you know, just going back to basics. I don't wanna do anything too fancy. So today we're gonna have Penang curry shrimp. Tomorrow we're gonna have chicken queso soup. Uh, Tuesday we eat at my mom's. We're gonna have leftovers on Wednesday and then breakfast for dinner on Thursday. Um, and then I don't cook on Fridays and Saturdays. And so um, I also bought, I bought salmon from from Costco, so we'll have that the week after that. I bought steaks from Costco. I bought chicken from Costco, so we are good to go. I've been doing really good with using what's in my pantry. Ever since I did the whole uh, pantry clean out decluttering video, which if you haven't seen, you can tap this eye right here. I have consciously been using what's in my freezer and what's in my pantry really, really well. I'm really proud of myself for that. So, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the rest of this Costco food away and start prepping my meats. I already took the shrimp out of the, fr um, the freezer that I'm going to thaw. I do need to run to Publix too to get uh, some red curry paste uh, for this dinner tonight. So I'll have to do that. And yeah, that's it. I already picked out the girls' clothes. I told you I changed my routine and started doing that either Friday or Saturday instead of waiting till Sunday to pick out their clothes for the whole week. Um, I got some laundry to fold, you know, the normal. So let's just get to it. So here's the salmon that I got from Costco and here are the steaks that I got from Costco. So I'm gonna put the steaks in two bags, date them. I like to double bag them, put them in the freezer. And then I will slice this um, salmon up in pieces, but this is probably, I would say two meals for us. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I did my own DIY vacuum seal on this. What you do is you put your steaks or your whatever meat in a Ziploc bag, close it all the way to about this much left, then submerge the whole thing in water except for this one little corner right here and all the air will come out and then you close it. And then I'm just drying the bag off. And now I'm gonna put both of these in a bigger bag and my steaks are all done. All right, I'm gonna show you here. Excuse the dishes in the sink, but y'all know, y'all know what it is. I'm gonna submerge the whole thing in. Ooh, be careful not to get it. It's hard to do this one handed, but this is what you need to do. And then close this last bit. And here we have it all done. I tried to do, like I said, my DIY um, vacuum seal. And I put like the seasoning on my steak, I explained. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. This is what we're gonna eat on for the next month. I also did buy a pack of tender, organic chicken tenderloins from um, Costco. They come three in a pack. So yeah, I've, this is my meals for the next month. And I'm going to um, just look at different recipes for salmon. Steak's pretty straightforward. I'll just try to have different sides with it. And chicken, of course, you could do anything with. So I'm excited. Right now I'm gonna have a little pick-me-up. I'm gonna make myself some double eggs because your girl is hungry and it's not time for dinner yet. Then I'll focus on laundry and then I'll probably get ready to start dinner. So it's half time. I'm gonna send my husband to Publix. These are like just weekly stuff that I'm gonna get a, a few things that I need for the things that I'm gonna be cooking this week and for the girls lunches. So he's gonna run to Publix and get that. Okay, I gotta fold these la this, this load of laundry here and then I'm gonna start dinner. Okay, now it's time to start cooking. I just took all the shells off of my shrimp. I'm going to season my shrimp so it's ready. Um, as I'm getting the sauce together. So I'm gonna season the shrimp right now, then I'll cut up my onion and then we'll get the um, curry sauce cooked. 
I seasoned my shrimp with pink Himalayan salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and some garlic, and this is how it looks. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Now I'm going to slice my onion up and put my rice on so that it'll be done. I've got a, about a tablespoon of um, avocado oil in the pan here. I got my rice on, it's simmering right now. And so now I'm gonna open up my um, red curry paste. I'm gonna t use this whole can to fry it up for a little bit before I add the coconut milk. This is how it looks. Sorry, the, I'm shaking the camera because I'm trying to shake my can of coconut milk. Make sure you shake it up well because the fat settles and you wanna shake all that good fatness up. This is an excellent keto dish, by the way, because coconut milk has so much um, fat in it, good fat that you need. So, um, and so does the avocado oil too. But yeah, I'm shaking the can up and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time until it just thickens up. So I'm literally spooning in the coconut milk into here, mixing it up. It's also thick enough paste, and then I'm gonna add my shrimp in here to um, cook. All right, I've added my shrimp to cook in this sauce. This won't take long for the shrimp to cook. And once the shrimp cook down a little bit, I'm gonna add my uh, onions, and then the rest of the coconut milk, and then dinner is done. Literally, it's that simple. It's looking and smelling pretty good. Now, the shrimp, like, give off a lot of liquid. And the sauce will thicken up when I add that coconut milk in there. But if it doesn't, I will add a little bit of cornstarch because we do like our sauce to be thicker. Um, but yeah, the shrimp don't take long at all to cook. It smells so good. Like, mmm, it's just delicious. Okay, I just added the rest of the coconut milk and I'm just gonna stir. I'm just gonna stir and it's supposed to be like this peanut color like this. I'm just gonna stir and once it sits for a while, it will thicken up the sauce but yeah I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna stir this around here it smells so good y'all I got the onions in here if I had bell peppers I would add that but I don't have any so you can add anything you can add carrots you can add any kind of vegetable you want zucchini noodles um, any color bell pepper you want to add I just added onions and You'll be good to go. So I made a little paste here out of cornstarch and water, just equal parts cornstarch and water until it's like the consistency that you want it to be. And I'm gonna add this to my sauce to thicken it a little bit. Right, I'm gonna season the sauce a little bit. It has enough salt in it because of the shrimp was seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. I am gonna add a touch of erythritol to sweeten it just a bit. If you are not keto, eating ketogenically, you would just add a little bit of sugar. You can sugar it to taste. You don't want it to be too sweet, but a little sweetness really helps with this dish. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of this erythritol. All right, y'all, so I ended up adding three teaspoons and it's not like I really measured I was just using this and I kept tasting it and that's the level of sweetness that I like so make sure you guys taste it I mean everybody seasons stuff differently there's plenty of salt but there were plenty of salt and pepper on the shrimp so I don't need it in the sauce like it's already in the sauce and this is delicious this is such a quick and easy meal literally like 30 minutes my rice is done and now I got to make my cauliflower rice for myself and then my husband and I can eat to make my cauliflower rice, I just take a pat of butter and I'm just gonna saute the cauliflower rice for like three minutes. I like my cauliflower rice to have like a little bit of a crunch to it and I don't like it soggy. And so I'm not gonna season it or anything because I'm gonna have the sauce from the shrimp, the Penang shrimp, um, to cover it with. So quick and easy and voila, it's done. I cooked enough for tonight and tomorrow because I'm gonna have some to take for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get our plates together. Voila, dinner is served. And I cannot wait to eat because I'm hungry. It's dessert time. No, not for me, but for hubby. I'm gonna make myself a keto dessert and I'll share that with you guys shortly. Okay, got his cookie dough all rolled out. Yes, all six of these are for hubby. Now let me show you what I'm making myself for dessert. Girl, girl, you see it. Ugh, oh, this is just making me Yum, 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 yum. So easy to make. I got it from Keto is the Way to Go on Instagram. And it's literally just one egg, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, half teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of unsweetened cacao powder, 
one tablespoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of sweetener, which I have erythritol. So let me go ahead and get this started. Oh, y'all, I can't wait to eat this. To the top of the cake, I added a little bit of this chocolate zero chocolate syrup. It has one net carb in a tablespoon. Now I'm about to add my whipped cream. Y'all, I'm look this is probably the most exciting meal I've had all week. Y'all, I cannot wait to eat this. <gasps> Hold up, I gotta put this on Instagram, girl, because I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and take a picture. Hey guys, so I thought um, today's Monday, so fast forward today's monday i thought i would film the chicken queso soup that i'm going to try to make um for tonight for dinner i'm so excited to try this recipe and i also i was so out of it yesterday and tired that i forgot to talk about the fact that i made 100k a hundred thousand of you have hit subscribe on my channel and i'm just so thankful and so happy all praise and glory goes to god because i know um this is his purpose for me to help motivate others and i'm just so thankful that i'm able to walk and act in my purpose um i talked about it a little bit on my instagram i'm going to be doing um a full video about reaching 100,000. Of course, it's going to be a big giveaway. I want to thank each and every one of you personally for rocking with me, for subscribing, for watching my content. I am so truly, truly grateful to you from the bottom of my, of my heart that you guys decide to watch me out of all the people on YouTube, you know, so I'm really, really thankful. So um, I love y'all. So just want to say that. So back to this Sunday setup. Really, it's a Monday dinner. <laughs> Sunday setup, but uh, I'm gonna make the chicken queso soup. My chicken is thawed right here, and I'm gonna be making it in my instant pot. So let me go ahead and take that out. Here are the seasonings that I'm gonna be using: some black pepper, salt. Where's my garlic? Garlic, and then cumin, chili powder, cayenne pepper. That's like my taco seasoning mix, my DIY taco seasoning mix. And then also you're gonna need cream cheese, some chicken broth. I'm doctoring this recipe up a little bit. I'm using a Rotel diced tomatoes, one hot and one original, some green verde salsa. I'm, salsa. I'm also gonna add some Velveeta cheese to the mix and of course your chicken breasts. So I'm going to, I clean my chicken. This is what I use to clean my kitchen. It's an eat cleaner seafood and poultry wash. Uh, this is linked in my Amazon store. I also like their, uh, fruit and vegetable wash. I, I use this for all of my fruits and vegetables. Yes, you can. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. <laughs> so I'll this it for a minute and then I'm gonna rinse it off and then, then I will put it in the Instant Pot. This is the recipe I'm kind of using as a guide even though I'm like just using what I have on hand at home. Like I'm not gonna go to the grocery store and buy anything that I don't have. The only thing that I had to get was the salsa. Um, I already had the um, Rotel uh, tomatoes and the cream cheese I already had so and we have um some guacamole in the fridge so yeah I'm just going to just doctor up my doctor this recipe up and go from there this is on Pinterest if you just put in zesty queso keto chicken soup you'll find it you, there's a slow, um, slow cooker version and an instant pot version. Okay, got the chicken all cleaned and rinsed and dried and put in my instant, bottom of my chicken instant pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I'm gonna season the chicken with my taco seasoning. I forgot to add that I'm going to be adding cumin. I can't remember if I told you guys that. We're gonna so I'm gonna some. add, put the seasoning in and then um, the cans of Rotel, these, close that please. The two cans of Rotel and the chicken stock Mommy, and the salsa and I'll show you guys when it's all done. All right, this is how the seasoning looks. I don't measure my seasoning. I kind of just go with it until it smells good. It smells like a taco seasoning mix at this point. <laughs> so now I'm going to add um, the two cans, one hot, one original of Rotel. Okay, this is how it looks with the chicken broth, the salsa, the uh, verde, and the seasoning and the Rotel and the chicken, of course. Um, so it says to set on manual. Stop, close that please. Set on manual and cook for 10 minutes at high pressure and allow for the pressure to release naturally. So that's what I'm gonna do. Can I mix this up though? It doesn't say, I don't know if I should mix it up or not. Mommy? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, so you guys know I'm an Instant Pot newbie. So I am going to, I don't know what to do. Should I cook pressure cook? Wait, 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 no, cancel, cancel, cancel. Wait. 
Wait, cancel. Oh, the lid. It says the lid. Mom? Start over. This is what I just, what I just, I just start over like this. And I'm going to put the lid on right. Now, see, this is where I get confused. I'm supposed to set it to venting or sealing. Venting, sealing, right? Hold on. Let me do it again. I think it's sealing. Let me Google it real quick. It's sealing. <laughs> sorry, I had to Google that. I'm sorry, I feel kind of idiotic, but I'm a newbie, guys. I know most of you are probably like Gia, really? Okay, so I'm going to put the pressure level on high and then I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes and let it release naturally for 15. That's it, that's all you have to do. And then we will go from there. Very good, baby girl. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. This is why I don't use the Instant Pot often. Um, I have no idea if this is doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's been like this for a while. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just sit down and read the actual manual. The manual. <laughs> what? I tend to just try to follow the recipes, you know? I don't know. It keeps doing that on and off, so I don't know. And it says keep warm. I don't want it to keep warm. I want it to cook. What do I do? Okay, so I just left it alone. I think it's done cooking. It counted down from the 10 minutes. Now I think I have to let it do a natural release for 15 minutes, then I will add the cheese. All right, so I waited 15 minutes, so I let it cook for 10 minutes, I waited 15 minutes, and I cut it off, because I'm scared. <laughs> and I am I put it on venting, and now it's releasing. Um, soon as it stops making noise and I'm able to open it, I'm going to add my cream cheese and the Velveeta. I'm only gonna probably use, not even half of this, maybe a quarter of this. I mean, this isn't the cleanest keto meal, but hey, it's something. And it smells very, 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 very good. It smells really good, y'all. So I'm gonna take the chicken out, shred it, then add the cream cheeses and the cheese. I may add a little bit of heavy uh, whipping cream if I wanna make it a little bit thick or um, a cornstarch mi corn starch mixture to get it thickened up a little bit. Um, but let me go ahead and get the chicken out. This chicken is like falling apart, y'all, and it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and shred it really quickly. Okay, so this is a chicken all shredded for my kids because I know them and they're not going to eat the soup. Um, I just kept the chicken on the side and let them have tortilla chips and like a cornbread muffin. And Ava, I let her just, I poured a little bit of the sauce on her chips and she likes it. Um, now I'm just waiting for the cheese to fully melt. And then it'll be time to eat. This is pretty thick. I mean... I mean, it's a thicker consistency. It's not like water, you know? If you do wanna have it thicker, you can add heavy cream to it if you're keto, um, or like I said, the cornstarch mixture, but I mean, this is pretty good. I like it, this consistency, I think it's good. My husband's gonna have rice with his. Again, I'm just going to, to have it as a soup. And there we have it, it's all done. My husband had rice and tortilla chips with his. I'm just gonna have the soup like this and some guacamole and it is time to eat. This is the guacamole that I use. It's like the perfect serving size. It has great fat, it tastes really, really good. I get these from Costco. That was very good, y'all. Very filling, um, very fulfilling. It was like a hearty soup, so I liked it. Uh, my husband really liked it. He okay. ate his with, like I said, the tortilla chips and uh, rice the girls ate ava had some on top of her tortilla chips i mean it was it was a very good dinner i'm happy with it so two thumbs up forget to smash the subscribe button see oh my, my mom's goodness. videos y'all been watching too much too much youtube Bye. kids <laughs> oh girl that dessert hit the spot it is kind of late i gotta do better next week with eating i don't want to eat past seven o'clock right now it is 809 and honey your girl is tired honey tired i did a lot of filming today and um when i do a lot of filming and like one day it's like i get really drained you know so um the girls are spending the night at my mom's thankfully um so i'm gonna take a nice hot long shower I'm gonna get in the bed, I'm gonna watch a couple episodes of Tidying Up, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. You know, it's it's been tough because um, I no longer work from home. I used to work from home one day a week, and it helped because I was able to film on my lunch break and just do things around the house and stuff, and 
now that that I don't have that anymore, it's like, uh, it's it's been really tough, the adjustment, so. What did you guys get done this week? Are we working towards our goal? Are we, you know, you know, I'm, I'm sure most of you have seen that video of um, how to plan your dream year for 2019. If you haven't, tap this eye right here. But I'm on schedule, y'all. I'm like on it, on it, on it. Um, so I'm really proud of myself. I want us to keep pushing, keep going. Um, so that we can just get to the places and, and do the things that we want to do. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!